Karma is a concept that can be described as, in every individual action there is an equal reaction, and also, the consequences for your actions are met in reincarnation until complete reconciliation. Although there is much truth in the first half, it doesn't remain entirely consistent and neither is Christianity compatible with all its concepts. Some reasons are Point 1. The removal of real justice. If we start over again in reincarnation, you could not know how much damage you would have to cover from your past lives, let alone this one. Also, if karma from past lives affect this one, you would have little to any free will. As past karma is predestined in this life, and those who are destined to produce negative karma in your life are predestined for consequences they had no control in acting out. Point 2. The Factor of Tragedy Bad things happen to good people all the time, and vice versa. Christ was crucified and yet he was without fault. Plenty of other examples end up happening where the bad guy wins, disaster comes without reason, and justice is not met in this fallen world. Point 3. The Application of Grace The Law of Moses, which was established by God until fulfillment, which established the terms where humanity had fallen short of his holiness, was entirely based on eye for an eye, which the law was fulfilled by the free gift of grace from God by Christ. If we all got what we deserved, we would have nowhere to turn. Grace in karma would only be getting in the way of real karma, as even charity could be seen as not letting the consequences of karma happen. Both grace and tragedy are real, and both go against what goes around comes around. While everyone is to be judged for the evil they have committed, it is only by grace that there is a way out. Romans 5 verse 20 to 21 Moreover the law entered, that the offense might abound. But where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. That as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord.